back to lunchbox duty for the first day back at school. Nicole Baxter's kids go to the rapidly growing Dodgers Ferry Primary School, about 35 kilometres east of Hobart. Dodgers Ferry, especially as the roads and everything um, improve, there's going to be more families that are going to be choosing to, to live at a place like Dodgers. It's a lovely community. Outer suburban public schools around the state are struggling to cope with rapid population growth as housing affordability pushes families further out of city centres. Beachside Dodgers Ferry has shifted from a shack town to a popular residential area, swelling the school's enrolments to 560 students. There are now four kinder classes and new demountable buildings were trucked in over the holidays to house grade six classes. There's a lot of ageing infrastructure there that needs to be improved as well. Um, so these sort of modular buildings that have given us are just band-aid solutions really. Tasmania's Education Department has a Capital Works priority list with about 100 schools on it. Dodgers Ferry is listed as highest priority, but so are 20 other schools. We're not the only school in that position and well aware that the resources only stretch so far. Rosetta Primary in Hobart's northern suburbs is also top priority. I know that they have 1980s demountables still, the floors move, they have heating and air conditioning issues. Um, people in business wouldn't put up with those conditions, yet our kids are expected to. We are um, always looking at enrolments uh, to guide um, where demand is in our schools for school facilities. The Education Minister spent the first day back at Penguin in the North West, celebrating the school's $20 million Kinder to Grade 12 redevelopment. New classrooms, new classrooms are always great, you know, more facilities, they're comfy, um, nice to be in. Facilities a hundred more schools are hoping for. Selena Ross, ABC News.